Hi guys, I have something special for you today. I will show you how to set up the HDR eye lighting in V-Ray. It's Aga from Arvis Artist. Let me show you a great way to set up the HDR lighting. Also, you do it once and you can use it forever. Let's begin. I've prepared a simple scene, just so we can see lights and shadows. Let's add a D-Ray sky into the environment slot. Here is how it looks. We'll aim for our HDR eye lighting to have similar brightness. To create HDR eye lighting in V-Ray, we have to add a V-Ray dome light. Once you have it, Open the Material Editor and find V-Ray Bitmap. In the previous versions of V-Ray, we had to use a V-Ray HDRI map. Load your map. We have to change the mapping type to Spherical. Once it's set up, put the HDRI into a texture slot in the dome light. Make sure you do it as an instance. Let's see how it looks. Not bad, just a bit too dark. Let me show you why we need V-Ray Dome Light. When I turn off the light, we get the lighting from the environment slot, so the V-Ray sky is working. Let's see what happens if I put our HDRI map there. It's way too dark, that's why it's better to use V-Ray Dome Light. I will turn on the light back on. Now, let's make it brighter to match the V-Ray sky lightness. To do so, increase render multiplier in the bitmap settings. It's too much. Let's try 5. A bit less. To compare it with V-Ray sky, just turn the dome light off and on. HDR lighting is brighter, but we'll keep it this way because it has a sun. In this case, it should be brighter. Also, it doesn't have to be 100% the same. We can rotate the texture using the horizontal rotation option. Here, you can see that we have some shadows from the HDRS sun. It doesn't look realistic because the sun is not strong enough. We have to add very sound to make it work. The position of the V-Ray Sun has to match the position of the HDRS Sun. First, align the Sun's target to the dome light. Then go to the perspective view. You have to use the environment background and place the HDR map into the environment slot. Next, we have to make the perspective view more wide to see more of the sky. Once it's all set, just position the sky. Looks great! I will move the camera to see the sun. Looks great. If I move the sun to a different position, you can see that we have two shadows, which is very wrong. If we go back to our position, we have just one shadow, which is perfect. I will increase the size multiplier to make the shadows more soft. I will place V-Ray Sky in the environment slot again to show you the comparison. It looks way better with the HDRI in my opinion. We could finish there, 
but there is one problem. What if we want to have the sun in a different position? We would have to rotate the environment and position the sun again. Let me show you how to fix it. You will need to do this just once and then you can use it in each project. First, you have to link the sun to its target. This way, when you rotate the target, the sun is rotating with it. Then, you have to link the sun's rotation to the dome light's rotation. You can link it the same way. I will show you different methods. Select dome light, go to animation, wire parameters and choose wire parameters. Choose Z rotation and select sun's target. Choose Z rotation as well. Click this arrow, which means it's a one-way connection, so rotation of the dome light in the Z axis will rotate the sun's target in the Z axis as well, and not the other way around. Click connect and close. Let's see if it's working. Perfect. Last step is to link the HDRI map. We'll do it similarly to step 2. Let's start like last time. This time, link it to itself so the very dome light. Choose object, texture, horizontal rotation. Connect it like last time. It's working, but the direction is not right. To fix this, open the wire parameters dialog. Find the connected properties, Z rotation on the left and horizontal rotation on the right. And change Z rotation to minus Z rotation. This way we will rotate in the opposite direction. Click update and close. Now it works perfectly. Let's test it. I told you before that you will have to do it just once. You can save this file and use it for different projects. Let me show you how to replace the sky. Load a different map to the very bitmap you used before. Now, the only thing you have to do is to position the sun. If you cannot see the sky clearly, decrease the overall multiplier. Let's rotate the dome light to see if it's working. Perfect. I hope this will help you with your visualizations. If you want to learn all about this art, join our visualization training where we show you all the lighting techniques we use and much more. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye bye!